Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Alex and, and this is my mom. Yes, I am Ange. So today's video, actually this is our first video in our channel and uh, we're sharing our experience during our visa processing for uh, K1 and K2. So um, uh, maybe you're wondering why we're doing this because back then when we were uh, you know having the process or going through the process uh, we got by um, with videos yes we in YouTube. Videos on YouTube yes uh, videos about the interviews and all those stuff so uh, it helped us a lot and uh, we wanted to give back and uh, do this also because most of the videos that we saw actually does not have a K2 visa or young my 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 kid. So I wanted to share yeah <laughs> this one. I wanted to share or we wanted to share our experience. So today's video is about the um timeline and uh, some tips during the process. So the entire process from start to to end is uh, five months for us. Yes, five months. Was it real? Uh huh. And uh, yes. So we sent our our packet or the forms to USCIS on January twenty five, and um, January thirty. This is 2019. The we got a confirmation, or my my husband got a confirmation from USCIS uh, that they received our uh, packet or our application. And then uh, we received our first action notice of action, or they call it uh, NOAA one on April twenty two that is still in 2019 and then a little over a month uh, received our second letter which is our uh, notice of action to or this is what we call the NVC letter so from there uh, medyo kinabahan na ako kasi pag nandyan na yan siya all you have to do is wait for a few more days na mag ready yung status niya sa uh, sa SIAC site and then you can go go ahead and proceed with the medical uh, examination and also for the interview and the, and by the by that time yung daughter ko nasa yes <laughs> nasa negro siya kasi uh, nag nag vacation siya dun sa family namin um yun nga kasi sabi ng auntie ko Two kailangan niyang pumunta doon yes para uh, bago nga kami maka alis maka uwi kami sa Negros because we're staying in Davao by, by that time and so yun nga na-receive namin yung letter from uh, NVC on May 28 so that's like one month after nung first uh, letter and then uh, yung status ng, ng case ID na, na ibibigay nila sa email actually yung email isisend yun dun sa um, uh, fiance mo which is my husband uh, now tapos finorward niya yung email sa akin chinect ko yung case ID dun sa sa website dun sa email may website din doon kung, kung saan yung pwedeng i-check yung 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 case ID or case, ay, yung status ng case. So, during the first time na i-check mo nyo yun, it will say in transit ang status niya. So, you you don't worry about that. All you have to do is uh, check it like uh, day after day. And, uh, yun nga sa akin, 28. And then, June 1, doon na nagka-ready yung status ng aming uh, case ID so uh, at that time actually uh, 
sinundo ko yung anak ko sa Negros and uh, we we uh, go back home para sa Davao para nga maka prepare to go to Manila for our medical examination and we did our medical examination on June 25, 2019 so our and then after that one few days after nag, uh, nag rest mo na binigyan ko ng um, allowance ng two days yung medical and then some rest for the uh, interview embassy interview we did our interview in the embassy on July 2, 2019. And then, July 3, uh, kasi pag-approve yung visa nyo, uh, the consulate will give you a paper and meron dun ways kung paano nyo ito check yung status ng visa. And, chinek ko nga, uh, mine was issued on J July 3, 2019. And then, uh, my daughter... Uh, daughter's visa which is the K2 was issued on <coughs> July 9 ano <laughs> good okay so yun and then I had my uh, counseling seminar uh, kasi hindi kayo makakaalis ng Philippines without the the counseling seminar on August 5 and then yung flight namin is uh, August uh, 10 10. I remember. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yun siya guys. Uh in total talaga from the time na na sent out namin yung documents to the time na na-approve yung visa namin is only 5 months. Pero hindi kami nakaalis agad kasi nga mayroon pang yung counseling seminar and, and the, at by that that time kasi uh, puno yung ano yung reservation magpapa-reserve kasi for counseling so puno yun kaya hindi ako nakakuha agad ng slot uh, nakuha ko yung August 5 and uh, um, through all this process guys uh, we'll post another video uh, yes regarding um, yung sa mga forms and uh, mga requirements and also Yes. It took us two days from the Philippines to here, so I would recommend you not trying their Japanese air airplane food. It tastes horrid. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Another tip. <laughs> and uh, um, what do you call this? We'll post another video, a sit-down video, regarding our experience for uh, the medical examination. Yung two days na sobrang tagal. Yes, yes. And then the, the embassy interview na super, super, you know, medyo kinabahan ng konti kasi syempre interview and then I have my daughter. And, and then we'll uh, also post another video for our... Um, uh, what do you call this? Um, Tell me. experience oh. regarding our flight and a super tinakbo namin yung 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 ano tawag dito? Please. No embassy. Second to the last airport, Chicago. Oh. Tumakbo kami kasi we're running out of time. So pagdating namin doon sa sa gate na magboarding kami kay boarding na talaga. So yon mag update kami niyan guys and then uh we'll have uh some tips and if you have some questions you can actually uh comment yes comment and then you can like the video oh, uh -oh. <laughs> you can like the video and also you can subscribe to our channel for more videos in the future thank you